Today, I'm going to be doing a review on my party cape that I got. Um, I even got one of the stools. I I recently got Centipede 8-in-1 um, as well, but I'm, I'll be returning the Centipede 8-in-1 uh, because um, there was a guy on Craigslist and he was selling his machine for $300. It came with a riser. And of course, this machine is really old. Um, you know, I was like, I love asteroids. And when it comes to the party cave, there actually has a standalone asteroids party cave and they have a centipede party cave. But I knew that the first one I wanted to get was centipede because I love centipede. Centipede is so awesome, you know? Look, on the side art, you got the little centipede guy. He's pretty cool. The only thing is that uh, on this particular machine, it's on a black background, making him look like an alien. Because he's not an alien. Um, he's just a centipede. A really giant centipede. But I could see where they were going with this machine, you know, with the space and the shooters and the spaceships and and asteroids and stuff like that so they kind of had to just make the background black but it's supposed to be on a white background but oh well um nevertheless now i have um centipede and asteroids combined because oh man i, I told you i just didn't have the place to put up a centipede and an asteroids cabinet so i was like what do i do what do i do well i i'm just gonna mix it together if i could find a centipede and an asteroids together then i have centipede and asteroids in one cabinet and the only thing is i don't like about the full-size arcade three-quarter scale machines is man they pick up a lot of space they pick up a lot of space from from like the wall to, to like out outwards like this is just really 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 crazy that it takes up this much space in your house like it just yeah I I, I don't know I, I just don't like it but I have centipede and asteroids together so I will be returning the slim centipede party kit and we're not talking about that. That's another video, but I want to focus on this. When you power it on, you see the light on marquee, and then it boots. It takes a few seconds to boot. I even got this stool because my original plan was to just get this set up and going, but. One thing about this machine I really like is that the layout is really good. You know, you get your six buttons, you get your joysticks, and you know, you get your player one over there and stuff like that. Uh, oh, these are what, USB and headphone jack. Okay, cool. This machine um, in particular, sells out really fast you can't get your hands on one even if you even the people who wants it cannot get it i would say to them people whoever wants these try to get a defender cap if you if you want to mod a party gate get your hands on a defender cap and if defender sells out well try to get the asteroids um party gate and you know then you could try to mod the buttons don't the reason why i say these three cab uh, party kids, if you're into you know modding them, because I I'm gonna mod them, but it's gonna take me a while to mod this for sure. Um, first off, these things are kind of they're on the cheap side, but I'm buying them from HSN and I'm gonna pay them off. I'm gonna pay them off on my credit card, so I'm not buying them with my full on money right now. 
I'll put them on a credit card and do the easy pay stuff. So I'm focused on paying them off. Once I have them in my house, it's all good. But if you missed out on, if you missed out on any of the horizontal machines, I would say try to try to get one. Like Street Fighter is a horizontal, and if you want and you mod this, you can play Mortal Kombat. You could play. You know, X-Men, all kinds of stuff. Pretty good stuff. Uh, so light up marquee. It's kind of washed out a little. Let me show you in the dark how it is. Yeah. It's kind of washed out, but it's not so bad. It lo it still looks nice. It, 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 it looks good. Uh, I think it's okay for the price you pay of $220. So this machine, like I said, it's really hard. It's sold out. It sold out a few times on me. I was in the market for it. Um, I had to go to work and stuff and it sold out on me. And I was like, man, I really wish they come back in stock. And when I've always keep checking that same website and they came up, they came back in stock a few times. And when they did, that's the second or third time, I was like, you know what? Screw this, I am not getting um sold out on this machine so i picked up two i picked up two of these just i don't need to but just because they're really hard to find so i i just picked up two <laughs> and uh throw it on the cart checked out and they were here um so yeah these are the games on it we have street fighter 2 Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, Street Fighter 2 Tobo, the Strider, Captain Commando. This is a pretty cool game. This is like a, a beat em up, um, kind of like Final Fight in a way, I'd say. Except without the cool Final Fight music, because Final Fight music is just awesome. And, uh,. Ego Fighters? I have never played this. So I don't know what the gameplay is like. Let me see. Oh, it's like a little spaceship thing. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember playing this for like five minutes. I didn't spend too much time in it. It's... Yeah, okay. Let's get out of there. It's it, it might be a fun game if I learn to play it, but I, I just don't know how to play it yet. Okay, let's go into Street Fighter 2. So yeah, this machine is really hard to come by, and I am gonna uh, change out these buttons with um, the, the cheap converter kit that they sell on Amazon. They sell a, a cheap converter kit with two players for, um, I think 40 bucks, 39.99, 40 bucks. But you get two two sets. You could even get a, a one pair, I guess, one joystick, uh, eight buttons and stuff like that. But you're probably only gonna put You're only gonna put like six on this because that's the layout of this. But I tell you, you will have to put in an. You'll have to drill here uh, another button. So you have to another. You have to drill another button for the coins because if you're gonna play main games, they they, they use coins. But you can't put a a coin a coin door in this thing. Like you know, literally coins. Cloing, cloing. So you're gonna have to put a coin button somewhere. So I would just drill one right here, you know, get a get a drill in, and and drill it out there, and put one more button for the coin. So that's Street Fighter Two that we all come to love, Championship Edition. Let's go into that now.
Pretty cool. Just more of the same Street Fighter. And of course we got Strider. Okay, so obviously, then we have Captain Commandos. That's kind of the gameplay of that. So my plans for this machine, I'm gonna put in a a pie of some kind. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the atomic pies. I, I bought two atomic pies. So I may go with a pie three. I, I just, I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm really gonna do. I know the the atomic pie is much more powerful than the Raspberry Pi, but the Raspberry Pi has some really cool images that you could just download and, and, and just put it on the Pi and you can have a, a kind of gameplay set up ready for you. Something the Atomic Pi just doesn't. It just doesn't have that. So that's why I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Atomic Pi on this one. I think I'm gonna use Atomic Pi on this machine and I do have a uh... so I'm gonna return back the centipede cabinet the centipede party cade and I'm gonna switch that out so I'm returning this and I'm gonna get Galaga I'm gonna get Galaga so since Galaga machine so since the Galaga machine is gonna be what do you call it um a vertical machine i already have miss pac-man so i i need this is my setup this is my you know my setup that i think is gonna be worth it for me i'm gonna have two horizontal cabinets aka street fighters so street fighter basically fighting games you, you could see so your horizontal screen right so i i already bought two of the street fighter cabinets well, these are not cabinets, they're party kids. So, two of the Street Fighter party kids. And I want to have two vertical machines. Two vertical party kids. So, that's going to be Miss Pac Man, because she's a vertical. I mean, yeah, she's a vertical machine. And I'm going to switch that out for Galaga. And we're going to have Galaga which is gonna be my virtual machine. So virtual um, instead of horizontal party kid. Cause I was thinking about getting Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man, but like the thing is, I really don't like the, the design logo of, um, of Pac-Man. I, I just think it's too bland, it's too boring. But I do like Galaga. That artwork on Galaga is like really, really nice. So you you know, you have to think, you, you have limited space. So you're gonna have to only choose two vertical machines and two horizontal machines. What would you choose? Well, I would be okay with having Street Fighter two times and having one Miss Pac-Man, of course, with a light up my key and one Galaga and let's say some friends comes over and I and they want to play Miss Pac-Man. They can jump on the Miss Pac-Man machine and they can play Miss Pac-Man. And let's say another friend comes over and he wants to play the original Pac-Man, but the Miss Pac-Man machine is taken over. Well, can he play um, 
Pac-Man? Yes, because I'm gonna put in the Raspberry Pi on the Galaga machine, so now it'll have, you know, uh, Pac-Man, Pac-Land, Miss Pac-Man, so I can actually have two friends come over, and if they want to play like Pac-Man and Miss Pac-Man, they can just choose from the Raspberry Pi. So that's why I'm thinking I'm gonna put those two machines, those are my artwork choices, but in the actual game, it's gonna have the list of games. And then of course, we have this puzzle game. Let's see what's up. Oh, this actually gives me a, uh, this gives me an idea. This gives me an idea. Shoot, so I'm gonna put an uh, atomic pie on this and put vampire uh, savior on this machine. Oh, that would, that would be so sick. I need to do that. So this is a little puzzle game with your street fighter characters. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Exit out of this one. And then of course we have the goblins and ghouls. But it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna um, put a pie in here so I'll be able to play this game as well. So. Atomic Pie. Because the Atomic Pie can actually play Killer Instinct 1 and 2, no problem. The Raspberry Pi 3 and 4 kind of struggles. In fact, I don't even know if it can actually play it. Some people has been saying we have updates now in 2021 that we can actually play um, Killer Instinct 1 and 2 on Pi 3B plus and 4, but I still d doubt it because I think it's just not gonna run smoothly. So that's that. Again, here's what it looks like in the dark. And uh, thanks for checking this out with me. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks.